In this video, we show you how to operate the web server for Coastal Inverters in the Plentacore and Pico IQ series. You can call up the web server using the browser on your PC, laptop, smartphone, or tablet. The device must be in the same network as the inverter. Enter the inverter's IP address into the address bar and confirm by pressing Enter. The login page is loaded. Select the plant owner user group and log in with your password. If you are logging in for the first time, you will have to create a login password first. To do this, you will need the master key, which you can find on the type plate on the side of the inverter. You can reset your password in the same way should this ever be necessary. The password must comprise at least eight characters. You are now on the home screen with the power flow diagram. This shows how the power is split between the grid, inverter, and house in real time. The current values menu shows you the current performance data for the inverter and or PV system. To see the details, drop down the individual elements by clicking on the arrow symbol. You can view an inverter's yield data for various time periods in the statistics menu. You can also obtain details via the drop-down sections of the relevant statistics. If you call up the log data menu, you can download a CSV file containing the inverter's operating values for a time period of your choice. The file can be edited using any common spreadsheet program, such as Excel. The data in this file can be used to evaluate yields and events. Select the desired time period and confirm pressing the download button. Go to the Settings menu. Under the Basic Settings menu, you can change the inverter name, configure the date and time, and change the login password for the web server. The date and time are determined automatically via the preset NTP server. Please select the time zone for your location. If the inverter is not connected to the internet, remove the tick from Use Time Server NTP. Set the date and time manually or transfer from the device used to access the web server. Then click on Save to accept the settings. The Network menu item allows you to set the network parameters for the inverter. The Automatically Acquire IPv4 Address option is activated by default. This means that the inverter receives its IP address from the DHCP server located in the local network. If you want a manual IP configuration, remove the tick and enter the values you want in the fields. Confirm the changes by clicking on the Save button. If you want to read the information about the Modbus protocol from the device or control this, activate Modbus slash Sunspec TCP. This enables data to be exchanged with a compatible external device which is linked with the inverter via your network. Activate the Coastal Solar Portal. Then, when you have an internet connection, operating values and events are sent to the Coastal Solar Portal. And you can conveniently display and evaluate the system data online. More options for configuring the inverter can be found in the service menu. This is split into general settings, and settings for grid parameterization. Most of the settings in this menu require special technical knowledge and can therefore only be changed by your installer. If you have any shading on your roof, for example, the generator settings menu item allows you to activate shadow management for each DC string individually. The inverter software then automatically optimizes the yields of the modules in shade. Once you have connected a battery to the inverter, you can go to the Battery Settings menu item, select the battery type, and configure the battery's use strategy. When in automatic operating mode, the inverter controls battery use in the same way all year round depending on PV yields. When in automatically economical mode, the battery is shut down when the PV yield is very low for several days. 
the PlentaCore Plus has a generation and consumption forecast, which works with the connected battery to make the electricity generated available to the consumers in the household in an optimum manner. Activate the smart battery control if you want to use this forecast and reduce your electricity costs as much as possible. In the Switched Output menu, you can set the self-consumption terminal function on the smart communication board. You can choose between two functions and individually set the activation and deactivation conditions. The self-consumption control function relates to the output power of the inverter. Dynamic self-consumption control is only possible in conjunction with an energy meter and relates to the power at the grid connection point. If you want to release an additional function, e.g. battery mode for the PlentaCore Plus, you will need an activation code that you can obtain from the Coastal online shop. The additional options released are shown here. In the Update menu, you can define when you want the software to be updated fully automatically when you have an internet connection. If you do, there is no need to do anything. Select the Inform when update is available option if you simply want to be notified of an available update. As soon as a new version is available, the icon in the header line will change. Clicking on the icon takes you to the update menu where you can start the software update process. If you prefer, you can start the search for online updates yourself. For a manual software update, drag the update file into the field or select it using the button and start the installation process. After the first part of the installation, restart the device by clicking on the button displayed. The device will then start in update mode. The info menu provides information about the device data, such as the hardware and software version or the set network parameters. Once you have logged in, the event messages registered by the device are also listed for you. Use the logout symbol to log out again.